Hi, I'm Alex Howard, and I'm here with Alison Raphael, that some of you may remember from our Freedom of Memory DVD, um, which was made, um, I think it was about four and a half years ago that we did yes, it, from what, yes, from what it I was. can remember. Yeah. Um, so we thought it would be nice just to kind of show what Alison um, is now, kind of what she's doing. Um, but also we want to talk a little bit about our professional training courses. Um, which for Alison were quite, was quite a significant factor in kind of supporting her, um, her recovery. And I know there'll be some people watching this video that maybe are trying to make a decision about the courses, about whether they'll have the energy to do it, whether it'd be useful for their recovery, what the opportunities are like beyond the training course. So we thought we'd just answer some of those, um, some of those questions. So thanks Alison for coming in. Okay. Um, so I know that when you were looking to sign up to the course and make the decision around it. That I remember we spoke on the phone and your concern was that at that point it was a big leap beyond what you were kind of normally doing at that point. So just talk us through when you when you were kind of in that position, what you know, what your fears and concerns were and that okay. kind of thing. Well, I mean I, I've been in my house for two and a half years and I haven't you know been on public transport for that length of time. I hadn't been out in any other community other than my four walls in, in my lounge. And I just knew that I had to start thinking about what I was going to do next. And I knew that I could not go back into my old career, that there just had to be another um, alternative for me. And this course came into my lap, completely into my lap. And I, I just thought there's no way I could even consider doing this course. I, you know, I haven't been out of my house. I haven't even studied for like 20 odd years. Um, and I just thought, you know what? not even going to look at it. Because I, I remember for, for you, it was almost just getting from home to where the course was running at that point in central London. That was in of itself a, a huge challenge. Yes, totally. Um, just a completely out of not only my comfort zone, but just didn't think it was even part of what was possible for me. I just didn't, I couldn't envisage being, I actually tried to envisage being on a train and I, I just couldn't, I couldn't even, it, it was too traumatic to even think about. Yeah, yeah, and I, I should say at this point, if there are people that are watching this that are in a similar situation, I was, uh, if you don't mind I was treating uh, yes. Alison at the time as well, so I felt clear that it was a leap that would be fruitful to make, as it were. And that's not saying that everyone in that situation should make that leap. Different people have different realities of their recovery, but you know, I felt confident that given what we were working with and where you were, that actually you'd, you'd respond very positively to doing that and you know and thankfully that was the case and, right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it happens <laughs> and, and so then talk us through you know over the the, the year of doing the course because I know that you, you you know your recovery really kind of cemented and, and kind of grew massively really in, in that period but how the course played a role in that you know, and, okay. how, and how, it, how it supported that um, first of all, socially, I hadn't really been in any social situation for two and a half years other than being at home with my children and a few friends popping in. So socially, that was m major for me, that I knew that I would meet the same people um, you know, every month at the course and uh, you know, built up a really lovely rapport with them. So that was a support in itself. And even you know, going to the course by train as the course went on, you know, everybody arrived quite tired, mm -hmm. and so we could talk about that, and we, you know, we all needed our food, and we needed to get ourselves sorted before yeah. we started the day, so it was all kind of similar feelings of comfort, really. Um, so that was, that was just a really nice, secure feeling. Yeah, and then it, what's always interesting with the kind of a, a new group on the course is that often in the first few weekends, people's anxieties about getting to the course and I remember I think it was the year after your group there was a bunch of people that had sleep problems and so it was you know, for three nights for the course initially they wouldn't sleep and it was a whole kind of you know, whole yes. story kind of about that but then it's really obviously really rewarding for us to see how that often then changes as people go through the course yes, totally. so tell us a little bit about how you know your recovery improves and how the course perhaps became easier as, as you know as, as the year kind of passed. Okay so so obviously like the first few um, sessions at the course was I was still a little bit fearful about you know traveling and everything and then I started to sort of get really hooked on what I was learning because that was like that was that was moving me forward in my health because I could 
my direction is learning. It's not about so much looking at my health. And that, that gave me a release to not sort of programming, you know, I've got to be well for this, I've got to be well for this, I've actually got to get this assignment done. So it took out the intensity of, of that need, basically. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I guess also the stuff, what we always hope is the stuff that people are learning, they can also be directly applying to their situation, to their symptoms, to the anxieties. Yes. To work with those, which then means it's kind of the double whammy of, you're doing something you're really interested in, but it's also feeding back to helping support yes, your recovery. Totally, and that and that came through very much with the book assignments because you obviously had to really feel what those books were giving you at the time, and that was to me that was like amazing therapy for me. There were a huge amount of books, but <laughs> <laughs> we, well, like, we did. We, you know, it was great. It was yeah, fantastic. So yeah. that was, you know, I, you know, I, that, I was going home to work, and I love that. I yeah. love to do that. Yeah. Well, I think it's an interesting thing as well that as someone's recovering, people often start to have more energy available. But then it's like, what do you do with that energy? Because it's mm. often a big leap from being kind of housebound to going back to work. Mm. And so it can be a great stepping stone. And you know, one of the things that we've changed since Alison did the course is we've, we've made it more flexible. And so people can do the, the, the course for a year just for their self-development and then come back a following year and do it as a, as a, learn to become a practitioner. So it means you haven't got all the books and that kind of thing at the, at the start. And, you know, people can then make the decision, do they want to do the book reviews and case studies, which is just now the level three part of the course. When Alison, when, when you did it, it was all in one year. Yeah, so it was quite yes. an intensive, yeah. um, an intensive process mm. in, in those days. Um, so I'm wondering then, by the end of the course, you know, having gone through the more intensive version of doing it, um, where you're at in terms of your recovery and also where that left you in terms of kind of future career and that kind of okay. thing? Okay, well as far as my recovery, I felt that the course helped me heal. It helped me get better. Um, I knew that, that, that the course was gonna be my vocation in life. I just knew through the course that it, it was for me. And, you know, I, I put a lot of work into finding a way of taking the course into real life business. Mm. And by the end of the course, I'd already you know, attached myself to a practice, private practice, and started to market myself. So, as far as the course, I, I believe the course helped me get better. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and, and, I really and, do. Yeah, and, yeah. and I, I think it's also one of the other questions people often have is, well, you know, they, they do the course, and you know, then they're, you know, how do they go about getting clients, and you know, and, and, and that kind of thing. And so, I'm interested in in hearing about, you know, you know, I, I know that over the last, I guess it's five years since you since you completed the course um being able to kind of you know that you've been able to earn a living and support yourself and your kids through through doing what what you love yes totally it's been just a, like a secret garden opening because I, I just didn't think that the, the, for me that I could actually first of all get better and secondly actually find a career that is just fits with me so um it, it, it's my passion I just love what I do and I've been able to you know, create it into a business that, yeah, I'm, I'm supporting myself and, and my family, so amazing. Yeah, yeah and I, I think, you know, talking personally as well, I know doing something for a living that you really believe in and you really love, you know, is, is a great is a great privilege. Yeah, um, totally. So I, I guess as a final question, so people that are, that are maybe watching this sort of thinking, well, you know, they, they would, you know, they would, they would maybe love to do it, but would they have the energy to do it? Would it be too much? You know, is it something that they could really do? What, what, what would you say to someone that's, that's thinking that? Um, I mean, as far as the energy goes, I think that, you know, you, through the course, because you're being so supported by everybody on the course and, and obviously whoever is, is mentoring you through it, you, you, you take away that need to, you know, to sort of close in on your health. It, it becomes a different uh, position for some reason because... The, the passion for me was was the learning of the course, so that that that's that's why that was it became real for me um, through the course. Um, I think you've got to really know that this is what you believe is whether you're doing it for self development or career. You've got to choose what you want from this course. Mm. I wanted both from it, and I was I think lucky enough to start very early on because I got it all in one course, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I got I got through it. And I and I my intention was to make it into a business. I didn't know that um, how how I how easy that would be, but but actually it it, it turned out to be pretty easy to do that. Yeah. 
Um, so as far as the energy goes, I think, yeah, I had great fear about whether I could sustain um, the course, but I did it and I, I was very, very sick. So, you know, uh, I think that that's definitely possible for anybody. Yeah. No, yeah. Great. I guess also the other thing that I, I was just just thinking is, as Alison was talking as well that sometimes people will say you know well you know those people the DVD know are they still recovered now and so it's kind of nice kind of four and a half years later to kind of sit here with you and you know and to know that you know that you know you you know you have a wonderful life and you know and, and you have energy and you are still recovered and you yes. are real you're not yes. you're not just a paid actor you know no, it's it's real yeah. and um, I don't know if I told you that. Um, that Lindsay, who was, um, I don't know if you're still in touch with Lindsay. I'm the not DVD. actually. But Lindsay's actually running a marathon in about three months' Is time. She? So she's also oh still fully recovered. And, um, and I know that Phil's doing, doing great stuff as well. But anyway, thank you um, for, for doing this. Pleasure. Thank you guys for watching. And if you have any questions at all, then please do email me at alex at theoptimhealthclinic.com. Thanks for watching.